is the Vetru <laughs> K1 Pangolin case. This is the most unique case I've ever had on the show and probably ever will have. This thing looks like it's going a million miles an hour when it's standing still. It is massive. It's also at like a maybe a 15 degree rake. From a metal perspective, you know, the, the thickness of the metal is enough. It's, it's what you would have expected building a, a case like this. You could not build this yourself. I did metal work for a while. The, the press, break, roll, bend that you have to do and the engineering to get it all lined up, this had to come commercial. But it's an interesting style. The power supply goes in the bottom here. You can see that ventilation. Why even cut slots? Really nice. <laughs> I've got so much. I can fit my arm down the inside of the back of these cases. I've got some really, really cool ideas for this thing. Let me go back out to the wide so you can just see. This thing's so big, it's hard to show. It's got a really cool, like, dark gray pewter finish, maybe. Now, it's gonna come, like the other Vetru, with the uh, included, you know, screws, the standard standoffs. It's not gonna come with power supplies or cooling or anything like that. Support for ITX, MATX, full-size ATX, a full seven slots. I wanna talk about cooling real quick because this is where all those fans are gonna go. But I actually have the 360 millimeter Vetru AIO for this build. And I, it's going to get one of the biggest, meanest Intel 12 gens that I can afford is gonna go in this with the 690 motherboard. So this is gonna be probably a $3,000, $3,500 build, especially if I put a good GPU in it, maybe four <laughs> when it's all out. And I want it to go to somebody in one of those services. Uh, so we'll see where that goes when I do that build. Let's talk just functionally about this thing. So it's got front panel I.O., power, it's gonna have your separate audio, USB 2 and a single again, USB 3. It's gonna have, again, million spots for fans anywhere you can put them. So this, again, this is the K1 Pangolin, uh, 170 millimeter CPU height. Well, just take the glass off at that point because this thing is so big, you really don't uh, get much beyond that. There is your IO and, uh, I shouldn't even say front panel, like top shield or whatever they're calling it. Uh, we'll have that. Joe, let me show you the back side of it. it. Does have some hard drive mounts on the back side here. Once I take this glass off, there's a hard drive mount here. I don't know what I'm gonna do for hiding cables in this. I might have to come up with something unique here because there is no cable management. Everything is visible and there's just literally nowhere to hide. So thank goodness for NVMe storage, right? <laughs> so it'll be interesting. This is the Vetru K1. Over here, this is the K2. So these are the two different Vetru models. Very, very unique uh, designs. These are gonna be some really, really cool theme builds in the future, so stick around and make sure you're subscribed for that.